We're here in Slocan. That's right, Slocan. Yo, we're in Slocan. We're eating some samosas and drinking some white wine. Cheers. <laughs> we're going to the Valhalla Park. <laughs> and it's gonna be epic. These are tasty samosas. What are in them? Uh, I put some sausage meat, a uh, bunch of Indian spices, and uh, onions, garlic. Uh, that's basically it, made with phyllo. Phyllo? Yeah, phyllo pastry. Well, they are delicious. A little hint of spice without too much. <laughs> Look at all the boats. Oh, here's the sign. This is the sign to Valhalla Park. Gimli Mulvey. 24 kilometers. How low can you go? How low can you go? So we're changing a flat now in the middle of the road up to Valhalla. Because unfortunately something happened to this rear tire. I don't know where it happened. Sammy couldn't handle it. Pressure's too much. <laughs> Might be high enough. There we go. Almost. Tell us how you really feel. It's loose now. Didn't anticipate this taking this long to get up to the trailhead. Good thing we got a head start. <laughs> Look at this spare tire, man. Look at this spare tire. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna make it. So we had to uh, give up going up the top of the, uh, the to the trailhead. We didn't make it. <laughs> we're only part <laughs> way up. We're just parking on the side. What a beginning to an experience. <laughs> we're as prepared as we're ever going to be to do this. We couldn't drive all the way to the trailhead, but that's it. The adventure starts here. I felt prepared. Not so much anymore. But we're doing it. Oh, it's go time. So I read that the uh, access road to the trailhead was uh, able to be driven on two wheel, on two wheel drive car. That is not the case. I wouldn't say so. Maybe it's gotten worse since that person rode it, but uh, it's in quite worse shape the higher you get up. That's the one on the right. This is it, we're at the trailhead. Oh my god. <laughs> Sweet Valhalla. She's windy ass. Yeah, it's calling. Look at that Look sunset. At that Woof! You should have been here 10 minutes earlier, all the goats were here. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're moving down. So we're just getting the tent set up. Filling up our sleeping pads. Rolling out the sleeping bags. Because we added an extra 5k at the parking lot. At least 6k's. 6k to the trailhead, and then we've made it to uh, the top. I mean, not really the top, but like the base of Gimli. Uh, we couldn't just make the ridge and then descend into Mulvey Lakes Basin. So we're gonna spend the night here at the base of Gimli and uh, see if tomorrow we can summit Gimli or maybe another one and head down into Mulvey Lakes after. So this is dinner. I have never actually tried Backpackers Pantry dried food packages. This is my first time doing it. And I'm going with cashew curry rice and chicken. Let's see how it tastes. Got the Hawaiian, Hawaiian rice with chicken. And it's delicious. Like I've wondered, is it like porridge? Is it like soup? Is it like astronaut food? I don't know. I'm seeing some rice chunks. It's alright. Mix it around. Tasting like rice. 
with some spices. It's kind of dry. We're making coffee here, surrounded by the goats and the bugs. Oh yeah. Mmm, <clears throat> coffee's delicious. First one's really strong. It's like sludge. Soaking up the beautiful morning sun, beautiful view. This is awesome. Eating some oatmeal. So the campsite below Gimli is pretty good. It was a pretty windy night last night. This tent was flapping like no other, like a 1920s flapper. We made it through, it was good. And uh, the mountain goats are real friendly, just hanging out with you in the morning. And the bugs here are a little too friendly, I have to say. But there's a trickle of a creek on site, so there is fresh water that you can uh, boil for drinking. just starting the hike up Gimli and I found these pants on the ground. What did Pretty we find? sure we found a altimeter and a sweet compass. And a free pair of pants. Free pair of pants. We're not gonna wear it though. Oh hot damn. As long as the rock does. Product placer. Yes, Look at that exposure. Just a butte. That drop. Icebergs. This is where the scramble begins. Just came up this crack. We've got a bit more scrambling to go. I wonder if there's a Karen here. Or a uh, registry. Yeah. Made it to the top of Gimli. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to the top. Started from the bottom. <laughs> and we got the registry. No bear. Thank you. So we are on the top of uh, Gimli Peak, which is uh, 9,100 feet or 2806 meters. It's pretty high up. Huge views. For days. Views for days. <laughs> Just eating some beef jerky and some granola bars. Got to fuel up, son. Valhalla, we out here. Get, Get it. Some. Get some. It's got to be doable. Maybe.
just letting you know that there won't be any footage of the descent because I need my both I need both hands free to uh, climb down. So it's pretty sketchy. Yeah. And we're down climbing. It's gonna be intense. Camera's going in the bag. Here we go. Let's do it. If we pack up the tent, get all our stuff and head over that ridge, drop into Mulvey Lakes below. Look at that, there's Gimli. <laughs> Hiking in the Valhallas is not for the faint of heart. This place is real. We're going off a cable, off a cliff, onto a ledge, and it's pretty sketchy. We got big heavy bags. And Jermaine's the real MVP, because he's taking my bag. That's the ledge we dropped down, and there's the wire we held onto coming along the here. Tribute to Alex Honnold on the Oh My God ledge, Yosemite. This is it. Holding on. He's like, man, these guys can do it. I can fucking do it. Gonna drop your bag and go back up? Yep. No ice axe, no crampons, no problem. When you sweat your balls off climbing that mountain in the background, this is how you cool off. Woo! Not to mention that those are icebergs. Tonight we're trying more backpackers pantry. In the meantime, we'll have some coffee. Cheers to that. It smells good. I certainly have the appetite. Mm. Definitely have that Hawaiian flavor. Yeah. Pineapple. And there's a nice little spice to it. Yep. You get those pineapple bits. Oh, so good. What a place to wake up. Good morning. Good morning. Just getting some water for some coffee and some oatmeal. Did you sleep well last night? Pretty good, yeah. It's fucking tough. This is brilliant. Maybe the best place I've ever had coffee. We're uh, leaving campsite at the lake. We're gonna be going up uh, Asgard hopefully. Traversing back, going to the ledge, and then uh, making our way back to the car. Gonna follow the, gr the grass all along, past the saddle there, and then uh, go up the two humps, meet the snow, hopefully go up that little scree, and then uh, boom, straight up. Jermaine's jumping in. So we're sitting here with uh, Mount Asgard behind us and uh, across the way is uh, Gladsheim Peak which is interesting because it's the 25th highest in BC and the highest in the Valhalla range. So it's beautiful. Yeah. 
sitting down, sitting here and looking down at Mulvey Basin, and you can count like ten eight, lakes. nine, ten lakes. One with like iceberg flows coming off of it is truly incredible. Actually, when it comes to Midsheim in Old Norse, uh, the Old Norse language, it was the Odin's Feast Hall. Well, I wanted to come here as soon as I saw like basically one photo of where we're kind of sitting looking at the iconic, incredibly jagged peaks of the Valhalla range. And then the more I researched, like the lack of information and the lack of detail on like routes and how to access it. And it just seems like it's really off the beaten path and very little people come here, which after seeing the, the fire road in, the forest service road, I can see why very little people come here, but it's truly spectacular. And having very little information is actually a huge attraction for me to go there because you can get away from the crowds and you don't have to fight all kinds of people in the parking lot for fucking parking spaces. And I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And learning that you can scramble up some of these peaks that are mega jagged and... We're on top of Asgard! What up? Woo! Thanks for helping me up here. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Amazing views up here. We've got the Devil's Range in the back. Some of the coolest names. So it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people made it on the summit. We're about to enter our names into the registry. Fucking loved it. Yoo! Yoo! Yeah, they are like ants though, even even with this lens. We just made it over the ledge from the basin below. I think so. so now we're uh, heading back down to uh, below Gimli and then down to the car. <laughs> okay, we're good. Thanks. Thank you very much. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get punched in the eye, guy? <laughs> Would you just look at it? It's like sludge. <laughs> Fucking murdered it. No big deal. When I'm in the backcountry, I always choose a loo with a view.